So we're now in the penthouse of the project, the Crown Jewel. It's a 500 square meter penthouse spread over two floors, the sixth and the seventh. It uh, has also a terrace of 250 square meters, which is also spread over two floors. It's set against the backdrop of the old historical building with a very eclectic Art Deco style, which makes it very uh, very cozy, a little bit discreet, uh, like a hidden gem actually in the center of Brussels. The Chambon building has definitely influenced our design in terms of the materials that we chose. We chose a little bit more special um, Art Deco influenced materials. We have the exotic marbles, we have the Caffiolet marble which we used in the living space. We have the dark stained veneer, we have the brass, the gold details all over the apartment. And then also the, the patinated bronze, which is a little bit of a reference to the patinated copper details on the outside of the building, which are now turning a very nice green color. The sixth floor, which is more the living areas, we try to go a bit more dramatic, to be a bit more exclusive in terms of style and design. And then on the top floor, we went a little bit more understated, more calm, because this is the sleeping areas. We introduced quite a few statement pieces in the design. One that I especially like is the, the wine cabinets in the dining room, which is actually a buffer between the floating staircase and the dining space. So it's a translucent um, a cabinet's a combination of brass detailing and then the wine bottles seem to float in the air, nicely backlit. Especially at night, I think this is going to be a very nice piece. Apart from that, we have also the statement wall in the living room, which combines the extra long, six meter long fireplace. And then above that, we have a play actually of marble panels, wooden panels and some, some shelving for books or art displays. In the library, we try to create a modern interpretation of a kind of library or a cigar room in an old townhouse. So we have this combination of a library and a bar. So we have a very sculptural table in the middle, but then we have the back wall, which has a lot of possibilities to display either lots of books or art pieces. It becomes a kind of cabinet of curiosities. I think one of the other statement pieces is the cinema room. It has a completely custom organic sofa, which is upholstered in a, in a, in a dark green, like an emerald green velvet. And, and the same velvet is continued also as wall paneling on the walls. The dressing area we conceived as like a kind of small luxury boutique. It's a space with a lot of, a lot of cupboards all around, but inside, in the middle, we have a central island, like a jewelry island. It seems to be cut from one, one block of marble, so the Calacatta marble. We also have a private wellness area with a very large jacuzzi, very large sauna. The complete space is clad in natural stone, it's Belgian Pierre de Varenne, and this we combined with very dark walnut veneer, also in the doors, some nice wooden details. And this space also has direct access to the outside terrace. The terrace is actually one of the most extraordinary features of the apartment. Combination of the size, 250 square meters, but also the fact that the terrace is also split over two levels. The different rooms actually open up to the terrace, creates a kind of indoor-outdoor living, which makes it very, very unique. One of the very special items of the terrace is the connection with the old little tower of the Chambon building, which is one of the one of the jewels of the building, which is a kind of little tower which you can access from the terrace as well. And from there you have a sublime um, panoramic vista over Brussels. I think what we're trying to create here together with Imobel is, is a very extraordinary project. We have very high ambitions to create here something truly exclusive. We try to use the most luxurious materials, very meticulous detailing. We combine the historical detail of the Chambon building with the huge new spaces and this we combine with craftsmanship of the very highest level, nice detailing and some very, very nice spaces to live in basically. So we create a perfect environment for somebody who, who enjoys the finer things in life. <laughs>